Hey folks, uh, Revolutionary Brewer here. Today we're going to have just a quick little beer review. Uh, the beer we're going to be trying today is a Mutton's English Ale. And um, we're going to do a little bit, uh, a different format. I'm going to put the recipe up right away. This is a beer that was just basically made with leftovers I had in the apartment. And it was made really cheap. So uh, we'll kick it off with the ingredients up on the board here. So first of all, I started out with an expired Muttons kit. I got it on sale for like uh, eight ninety nine. It expired back in uh, two thousand and nine or something like that. So that was eight ninety nine. I also added one pound of uh, dextrose, just regular corn sugar, and I added a pound of uh, liquid malt extract I had left over in the fridge from another brew that I made. So. Um, the only other thing I had to do was I picked up a uh, little packet of um, Cooper's yeast because the yeast was expired and was no good, so I had to get some fresh yeast. So, without any further ado, let's crack it open and uh, see what we get here. Like I said, this was uh, very cheaply made. I think all the ingredients may have cost me... Uh, 16 17 bucks total for like 50 bottles of beer i topped it up to 20 liters so let's see how it turns out we're trying out a new glass today i got like 100 glasses here so let's see how it pours and we'll give it a test i think i worked it out it comes out to about roughly um i think it was about 30 cents a beer was the cost on this one it was like 25 or 30 cents it was something ridiculously low. Like I said, it's the expired kit, um, which is fine. It's in a can, so the malt is still good. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's still okay. Look at the head on this thing. Whoa. So, <laughs> I think I may have overcarbonated this one. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Anyways, uh, there we go. Uh, it's an English bitter. It's crystal clear. Like, look at that can see right through it pretty well uh, anyways it's really clear no chill haze on it at all you can see the little bubbles uh, coming up there I don't know if you can nice copper color um, where the kit was expired it's probably a little bit darker than uh, normal because over time the malt uh, that's one of the things uh, over time it does darken so this is probably a little bit darker than a um, a fresh can would look, but let's see what the taste is like. Nothing wrong there for thirty cents. I'll tell you that. Great beer. It's a good. It, it's a good beer. It's it's a solid beer. It's not. It's not a great beer, but it's it's a very good beer. Um, I'll give it a three and a half out of. I'd say three and a half out of five. Um, this is a beer that. Uh, it's a little bit darker. It's really crisp. I find it's it is actually a little bit bitter. It's a crisp, bittery beer. Um, maybe it's because of the fact I just used uh, one pound of malt with it and uh, bag of sugar. Maybe it's just how I made it. But uh, it is a little bit of a bitter beer. Let's have another taste here. Oh, excuse me. But it is crisp. It's a nice crisp beer. Um, it's got, it's pretty much, it's not, actually it's very similar to the uh, Cooper's English Bitter Kit. It's quite similar. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between to, between the two. Um, even the color is quite similar. I think the Cooper's is a little bit darker. Um, nah, I don't even think, I think they're roughly the same color. Look, look how clear that is. You can see my face right through it. But anyways, um. I give three and a half out of five. This is the second uh, Mutton's kit, I believe, that I made in this series. So um, we'll try a few more down the road. I've been fairly happy with the uh, Mutton's products. Uh, really, I just haven't brewed a whole lot of them, but there's nothing wrong. They seem to be a pretty decent product. We'll have some more coming up down the road. And uh, next up on deck, we've got another uh, brew that's made with uh, the fresh grains and hops. And this is going to be a honey brown, uh, honey brown ale. And uh, it's actually brewed with uh, a couple pounds of fresh Nova Scotia honey. 
And uh, like I said, it's got the fresh grains and hops, so stay tuned. Uh, like I said, one more time, three and a half out of five for the Mutton's um, Odds and Ends beer. Uh, the Mutton's English Bitter Odds and Ends. Uh, take care, folks. Uh, cheers, and keep on brewing.